I'd rather not. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to send you a little montage of my hockey skills. Which you'd love to la mode de Québec. Fair play game, yo. Tortière. So here I am with Richard Lavoie. Uh, Richard, can you tell me what it was like playing with Shane all these years? Just a great teammate all around and uh, yeah, great positive impact on the team. All right, thank you, Richard. Uh, can you tell me more about, uh, you know, how Shane is off the field? Well, off the ice, Shane's, he's, uh, you know, he's quite the team player still. Yeah, he, uh, he likes to get involved in his community and, uh, you know, maybe uh, people know that, but he's a great actor, and uh, you know, he tries to uh, hang out with his friends and family once and again. Last question here: um, If you could say something to Shane right now, what would you tell him? I'd probably invite you in the blue room. <laughs> I just want to end by congratulating you on what you accomplished this year. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun with you uh, over our tour and during uh, our time at school. I'd like to wish Merry Christmas to you and your family, and uh, as maybe noticed, I'm not too good with words, so I'll let someone else talk for me. Bud, congratulations on a tremendous football career. I just wanted to let you know that I'm extremely proud of you, that you have a lot to be proud of yourself. You've definitely left your mark on the Bishop's community. And if there's anybody in this world that I know who bleeds purple, it is you. Uh, your leadership skills are tremendous. You find a way to inspire and motivate people on a daily basis, and I truly admire that. Um, going forward, I want to wish you best of luck with everything. I know that you are going to be doing some really big things in this world, and I can't wait to see what's in store. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, definitely see you over the break. Cheers. Uh, million and one, million and two, million and one, two million. Oh, didn't see you there. What do you want? What's that? My favorite memories of Shane, Shane Cowan Chalette. Well, let me see. First of all, I think one of my favorite memories of Shane is when he and Rich dressed up as coaches for an intramural hockey team and led us to victory. Sure, we may not have the best goalie in the league, but you know what they say, worst league in hockey, five nothing. What else can I think about him? Well, I mean, living with him this past semester has been actually like, great. Um, trying to get ready for Turtle Fest, the whole fiasco of finding live turtles. What are we going to do with live turtles? Those things live 20 years. So <laughs> I think it's probably for the better that we ended up racing cars. Um, him being a presence around the apartment, walking around, inspiring us, motivating Tim to go to the gym, all sorts of things like that. And if I were to sum up my memories of Shane in two words, I want to say, BIM TIME! Just to speak to the dedication and perseverance you showed toward football, Taylor and I were always amazed that you'd be out of the house by 8 a.m. and he wouldn't come back till 8 p.m. It was 12-hour days every day. And, and uh, actually, that went beyond football season, even once it was finished. Still putting in long days, just um, working hard in everything you do. I mean, the hard work started with football, but it certainly didn't end there. Um, we were always amazed that everything you do, you put so much work into and you follow through with everything you say. Like We thought it was hilarious that you know, Turtle Fest came up kind of in passing. We never really thought it would happen. And then when it came time, all the work you put in to make sure it did happen. And again, like football may be where the hard work starts, but certainly isn't where it ends. So congratulations and uh, enjoy a well-deserved break sometime with friends and family. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas and congratulations on finishing your university degree. You know, it's just another accomplishment in your long list of accomplishments. You know, I'm 
so proud of you, my little brother, and you never cease to amaze me with all the things that you can achieve. So, you know, I, I know it's, it's kind of um, nerve-wracking graduating from university not knowing what's next for you and, and having all these options in front of you and, and the pressure to, to pick the right path or, or the right career or make the right decisions, but honestly, I am not worried for you at all. I think no matter what you do, you'll be successful. You're, you're honestly amazing and um, I love you lots and I think you'll continue to surprise me with all the things you can achieve in life. Um, I really do. So, you know, don't worry, just go with what feels right, and uh, all the best to you, bro. Love you lots. Merry Christmas. Hey, Shane. Just, uh, just in Whistler right now, scooping the ships. Uh, I just want to thank you for everything uh, you've done for our football team, and it was great getting close to you. Uh, I'm really going to miss you, man. I know, uh, I know you're going to be crazy successful in whatever you do, man. Hey, Shane. Merry Christmas. Just wanted to say how proud I am of you, of everything you've done with football, with the community, or at Bishops, and just in general, like with Purple Canada Tour, that was a freaking Canada-wide community initiative, so. <laughs> um, yeah, congrats. You're going to do amazing things, and you already have done amazing things, so keep it up. Shane, I could not imagine my last four and a half years at Bishops without you. It's been a crazy long journey, but I just am so proud of you for everything you've accomplished over these past few years, and I really do wish you the best. I'm so happy to have a friend like you in my life. Love you. Man, it was awesome uh, to have the chance to, to have met you and going to Bishop and just seeing all the things that you were able to accomplish. Uh, you really are an amazing human being through and through. Uh, your work ethic, your passion, uh, just being an amazing friend, uh, it, it's remarkable and it's something to be very proud of. Uh, I feel like I have a knack for picking out uh, special people and uh, special people do really special things. Uh, and I feel like you are one of those people. Uh, so no pressure, but uh, just keep me in the loop when uh, things start to get really awesome for you because, buddy, it's coming. And uh, keep working hard. Keep spreading the love like you always have. And great things are going to happen. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas. All the best to you and yours. And uh, can't wait to hear all about your, your adventures, buddy. Take care. See you later, Shane. Much love. Hey, Shane. Uh, firstly, I know you're thinking I'm a lot more tanned than you expected me to be. Uh, secondly, uh, I miss your face. Um, thirdly, I was told to kind of send this video in and give my two cents about you, but frankly I've been sitting here for an awkward amount of time because I feel like I could just say a lot. Um, so I just want you to know that although I never got the opportunity to actually play football with you, uh, most of those reasons being physical, um, that doesn't mean I didn't look up to you uh, off the field. Um, you're an extremely hard worker um, and you give 110% with everything you do um, and that, that honestly can't be taught. Um, you're the true definition of a role model. Um, I want to thank you for that uh, over the past five years. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I hope that uh, 2017 brings you the best of luck. Love you, buddy. Shane, you're amazing. You've done it all. You've completed it all, and all your dreams are coming true. They always will, because you're a dreamer, and that's what's meant to be. Congratulations on finishing school. We all love you. Care for you so much. Shane, man, you're an amazing person. Bar none, what else can I say? The love that you share to everybody around you is something out of this world. No words can truly describe it. You're such a passionate person. You're willing to fight for anything and everybody that you care about. That I feel grateful to be around. And I know everybody else around you does as well. Now the past year, couple years that you've been in school, I know you made a million friends and they're all going to miss you, but you know what, for the future, you're going to make a million more and they're going to miss you as well, but in the end of the day, I know you're going to make it and I know you had a great time. Love your brother. Take it easy. My brother, my friend, my teammate, my gym buddy, 
guy that's motiva- motivated me in every aspect, in the gym, off the field, in the field, blah, 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 blah. When Katie asked me to do this, I was hesitant at first. Could I think of good reasons I like Shane? Probably not. But you know what? I accepted the challenge. I went for it. I took the dive. Okay? And you know what? Man, what you've done for me in my life is indescribable. From when we would walk around in grade 8 doing the high school safari commentary to freaking like bringing me into another level of improv when you came in. And ever since then, I just, I don't know, you've, you've always been a model kind of person for me and You've always made me want to be the best me I can be, and you constantly do that. I see you in shows, I see you doing football, I see you doing that, and you're just such an inspiration. Man, I can't describe how much you mean to me, other than you're a brother, man. You're my brother. I love you, Shane. Happy birthday. Psych! Hey, uh, my name is Michael Brooks, and I'm here to talk to you about someone very important to me. Um, you all might know him from his uh, starring role in The Dark Knight Rises uh, as Bane, Tom Hardy. Oh, oh, the other guy with the huge traps. Oh, okay, uh, I meant Shane cowan Shane cowan here, uh, who I'm supposed to talk to you about. <laughs> Jokes aside, Shane, you're, uh, you're an incredible guy. Um, just by supporting others, you make them want to be better, which is such a rare quality to have. Um, this year I've watched you go across the country doing random acts of kindness for complete strangers. You've received accolade after accolade from universities and other foundations acknowledging your leadership and how great a human being you actually are. It's incredible. I am so impossibly proud to be your friend. Um, I'm not sure what you'll accomplish in the future, but damn, I hope I'm there to watch it. I love you, big guy. Merry Christmas. I dug up this letter that you wrote me on my 18th birthday, and I want to reread one of the things that you said to me. Now, I know you think I'm joking a lot of the time, but I want you to take me seriously when I say you're one of the special ones that I can see will succeed in no matter what they do. Shane, I feel the exact same way about you. I know that you'll be successful in whatever you pursue in life, and I can't wait to see what that thing is. Uh, congratulations on all of your accomplishments so far. Have a very Merry Christmas. I love you and miss you, and I hope to see you soon. Yo, your accomplishments, your achievements, everything you've done through your life, I knew you were going to do it. Nothing you have done up to date has surprised me, because ever since we were kids, you had that leadership skill. You had that tremendous vision, yo. I always came to you for help, and even through, even through everything since, since, Tyke days, you know, since the days you lived back in the West, you were the greatest influence I ever had. You kept me out of trouble. I'm here right now in university because of you. I'm doing my thing because of you. So wherever you go, I'm a go to. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to take this opportunity to address something that should have been addressed years ago. In grade 10, Shane and I dated for a brief amount of time. I mean, you had to believe, man. No one was going to buy the sleepovers and best friends thing for the rest of our life. So, everyone in the room, yeah, he was my first, I was his first. But besides that, where do I really go with this? Shane, you know, you're my best friend. Uh, you're going to be best man at my wedding. I'm going to be maid of honor at yours. And I, I owe you so much, dude. I mean... If it wasn't for you, and if you hadn't stopped me in grade 10 outside of uh, Madame Thibodeau's class, then I would have never gone to improv. You really took me under your wing there. And if it wasn't for you convincing me to audition for Xanadu, you and I would have never done the musical. And honestly, you show up in my life in all these different places where you've been not only my best friend, but my role model, to be honest. And I'm so grateful that I met you, you know, six, seven years ago, and that we hit it off the way we did, because I'm such a lucky guy to have you in my life. I love you, man. Samir, I love you very much. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished up to now. I'll always love you. Have a great, great year ahead of you. 
Guys, Dad, well, of course you know who I am. I just want to congratulate you for graduating university and for all the things that you've accomplished through the years in university and throughout the years from uh, childhood till now. And, uh, and I wish you all the best in the future. And uh, I know you'll succeed in, no matter what path you take. It could take uh, one or two or ten times, ten tries before you find it, but you'll find it and you'll succeed. All right. Never stop shining, Shane. I'll talk to you later. Congratulations and uh, enjoy a well deserved break. Take care. See you later, Shane. Much love. Ugo, I'm a go to. Love you. Love, 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 love. I love you and miss you. Keep it up. Cheers. We all love you, care for you so much. Love your brother. Take it easy. You're a brother, man. You're my brother. Love you lots. Merry Christmas. I love you very much. Love you, buddy. I love you, big guy. Never stop shining, Shane. I'm such a lucky guy to have you in my life. I love you, man.